Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today what we're gonna do is a bit of a different video and we're gonna show you how to make your drums hit. So I know for me personally, um, it took me like two years to learn how to get my drums to hit the way like all these people like Internet Money and Nick Mira. So I'm essentially gonna fast track it all that hassle and this video is what's gonna show you. Uh, before we get into it, follow me on Instagram at and um, subscribe if you're new. Uh, we're trying to get to 400 subscribers. I think we're on like 300. And 20 right so here we are on the desktop so I'm essentially just gonna show you how I would go through making a beat so let's open logic right so the first huge tip I would say would be to have um, a template as you can see I've like messed around with a lot of templates before Right, so as you can see, it has opened up essentially a beat. So the reason for this is um, it essentially takes out any mixing and mastering that I really need to do. For the most part, it gets you in like the right place. So everything's already mixed, all the 808 sounding good. And essentially from here, what you can do is just switch the sounds out. So when I come into a fresh session, we already have like a starting place. <laughs> So it's got some like ENDR vibes. So what we're gonna do is just adjust this BPM and cut that little crappy bit off. So this is a really slow BPM. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna speed it up a little bit, say to about 216. <laughs> So as you can see, literally all we've done is put a sample in and we've essentially got a full beat already sort of ready. So we're just gonna lay this eight to eight now. going to quantize these and stretch them out so now let's get into what i've actually got on the 808 so for this um i've put it into uh, alchemy so what you would do is just grab the 808 that you're using and throw it into this little sample a bit i always make sure the filter is off and now you should be able to play it on your keyboard so like that and going back to what i said if you're using good sounds uh, most of the time you don't even need any uh, channel eq so a huge mistake i was making at the beginning was i was doing all this crap like this for all my individual eight weights just crazy stuff like like that and then one day i just essentially turned it all off and it sounded a lot better so if you're using good sounds you do not need much eq so i just rooted this to bus one i've just got this overdrive plugin on these are essentially my settings that i use for pretty much all of the 808s and for all these 808s um, i typically get them to hit around the same level so it's so that is pretty much it for the 808. Like I said, this is, the majority of this is leveling. So for the clap, uh, I've not done anything. For the little counter snare, um, I did this, but I honestly don't, don't really know why. Hi-hats, literally nothing. The only thing I do do with my hi-hats is uh, I pan one left and one right, as you can see here. So I just duplicated it and panned them out of the way. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just essentially gonna play through with the levels. So if you're wanting to um, use the same levels as I do, then you can. And then finally we have this kick. So for kicks and 808s, uh, you really want two sounds that sort of match together well. So for example, this kick just seems to go with absolutely everything. I never use a different kick. So if we just put this in context to the beat. If you're using a different 808 and they're not clashing too well, uh, you can just get this gain plug in and just phase invert it.
that tends to solve like all my problems. Last thing that I recommend, which is a huge, huge thing, is what you're putting on your master. So if you're in Logic, you'll probably be watching all these uh, FL Studio um, people putting like soft clippers on. In Logic, we don't have that. So the one thing that I do recommend is this T-Rex uh, clipper. I've seen Cody and a few other um, producers use this in their videos, but this, this plugin is absolutely fantastic. So it just gives you that. And this is on. So I definitely recommend getting that or some sort of soft clipper. And here are the settings that I'm using. So if you want to copy them down as well. So three things to take away from this video is number one, get a template to speed up your workflow. Uh, number two, get some good quality sounds. Number three, level them correctly. If you're wanting to get the template that I use in this with all the sounds in, um, I'll link that in the description as well. And number four, I know I said I was going to do three, but number four is get a soft clipper. All these tips will absolutely change your beats instantly. So yeah, so that is essentially how to make your drums hit hard. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, uh, DM me on Instagram at myzy. And yeah, follow me on Instagram at myzy. Subscribe if you're new. I uh, hope this helped. And yeah, until next time.